Hi everybody, it's JP from dinnerwithjp.com and tonight we are doing, doing my uh, famous chicken broth uh, which are um, many vegetables and a little bit of chicken in like a soup style of dish. So let's start straight away with the ingredients. So we've got some spinach, we've got a little bit of um, double cream, black pepper, salt and olive oil. We've got some carrot, cauliflower and broccoli, some new potatoes, some uh, sweet corns and a twin pack. We've got some vegetables, root vegetables, ready to um, cook for the, uh, the dish. We've got some um, Coleman mustards, English mustard. mustard. We've got some um, chicken breast too and some onions. Okay, so let's start straight away by putting the oven on, on maximum. Okay, so the oven is on and we're going to start straight away with the um, cooking of the main dish, which is the broth. So what we're going to do is put a bit of olive oil at the bottom of the pan, like so. And we're going to put a bit of English mustard. So we'll just put a, um, a soup spoon full of, there we go. So, mustard and olive oil. We're going to put some salt, the usual amount of salt, and plenty of black pepper. Then we're going to cut the onions. So we're going to peel the onions and cut them in small pieces, like we always do. I hope you're having a good day. I believe it's been a lovely day today. Very sunny, so I think spring is, is around the corner. I can't wait to go out again and to go to the pub with everybody and have a drink outside in a proper fashion like we do in London on summer's time. Anyway, let's just cut the onion. There we go. So small pieces. Do the other one. Like so, you should be used to the onions now. We have done about 60 minutes now, things all together. So, there we go. Cut them in half, half again. If you've got big onions or small onions, just all on the small pieces for the dish tonight. So small pieces of onion is fine. There we go. I'm going to put them in the pan. Not the rubbish, just the onions. Okay, let's just clear this quickly. So we have cut the onions now. I'm just going to take my uh, small spoon to give a good, make sure it's all very well and lovely. The next thing we're going to do is to cut the chicken in small pieces. Now it's raw chicken, don't forget you have to clean your board again after that. This is raw meat. You shouldn't re mix raw meat with um, cooked meat. So small pieces a small pieces for this one. So cut the two fillets in small pieces, like so. The chicken is lovely. I actually went to the supermarket last week and I saw two fillets of chicken where, believe it or not, 15 pounds. I was wondering if they were actually made of gold or they had diamonds encrusted inside the chicken. 15 pounds is a lot of money for two breasts of chicken. I don't really care if they are sort of raised in you know, Buckingham Palace with the Queen. Uh, it's still a lot of money for two breasts of chicken. So, small pieces. There we go. So don't forget, this is like a soup. It's a broth. So, it's we'll end up in a soup dish um, 
not like a proper meal, but as a, as a, as a soup, more than a dish. So let's put the root vegetable inside. So let's put it in. Root vegetable. Now don't forget, because you can't find, you can't find smaller packs, uh, you may have too much, but don't forget, you can actually freeze the dish. Put any freezer or keep it in the fridge for the day after, for lunch. Any of this the day after is perfect. Okay, we're just going to cut a few uh, potatoes. Now for the potatoes, actually, let me just clean the, dish, the, uh, the board first. Because we just cut the raw chicken, so we don't want to mix. I'm using my antibacterial wipes, which apparently kill all bacteria. There we go. So, what I'm going to do is just cut small slices, leave the skin on, on the potatoes, and just cut small slices like that. So we want probably about three or four potatoes, and the reason we want the potatoes is because the starch in the potatoes will actually make the dish a bit thicker when you eat it, it's not just like a soup, it's a bit thicker than the soup. That will be the stash from the potatoes. So that's the third potato. There we go. I put one more. So that's four potato in the dish. So small slices, which are going all over the place, as you can see. Let's keep them here. Lovely. So put them in the pan, like so. Okay, the good stir, so all the oil, salt, pepper is very well going all over the place. Okay, so that's all the vegetables. Now we're going to put half a pack of this meat. Now you don't have to put it, I just want to put this. Um, because I like the, the cauliflower and the broccoli. We put half a pack of those inside for the mixed pack vegetables. Because I do like the say, broccoli and the um, broccoli and the vegetables in there. So there we go. Stir. Oh, looks absolutely lovely. And the last thing we're going to put is half a bag. Now, this is a massive bag, but I think it's fine anything smaller. But we're going to put like two handful of spinach in there. Now, I'm going to keep the rest because I'm going to do soup tomorrow for myself, lunch, and your piece. So, I will keep the spinach in the fridge and I'm going to do myself a soup for lunch. So, there we go. Okay. So, it's all in there. So what we're going to do, put it on the stove, full blast, give it a good, um, a good browning. Potatoes over there. So, next thing we have to do, oh, a bit of chicken there, there we go. Next thing we have to do is to do the um, sweet corn. The same way we've done before, we're just going to put them in the oven, roasted in aluminium foil. So you take your foil. Okay, first one. There we go. Um, actually, we'll cut them in half. I think half is enough. So, there. Yeah. There we go. Cut them in half. So we want a bit of olive oil on the top. Squeeze one. A bit of salt and a bit of black pepper. Okay, then you wrap it up, as we've done before. Make sure it's nicely wrapped up. Let's do the number two. There we go, a bit of salt, a bit of black pepper, olive oil. There we go. So we've got our two corn, sweet corns there, 
I'm going to put them in a dish ready for the oven. So I'm going to put them in the oven now. So the oven is on full. Should take about 40, well, 35 minutes to cook. Should be a good stir on our vegetables and chicken. It's cooking, you can smell. Okay, and what we need to do now is to fill up with water. Now let's put hot water with much oil so it gives a good heat straight away. So I'm just going to fill up the pan like three quarters of the size. And there we go. Make sure all the vegetables are in water. Okay. So it's in there now. You can see, so I've got enough water just to cover all the vegetables. Now let's spin it. Don't forget everything will reduce dramatically because it's in water and it's raw. By the time it's cooked, it will reduce by half. So that's it on full heat. I'm going to put um, the top to make it cook quicker. There you go. So leave it on the heat, full heat, and let it boil for about a good 50 minutes. Then turn it down. And the sucone is in the oven, it's going to take at least 35 minutes altogether. So let's say 40 minutes cooking time. So let it boil, as I say again, let it boil, and then turn it down after 50 minutes. Leave the sucone in the oven, and then we'll see you in 40 minutes. And so we can actually serve the dish, the chicken broth, and have a lovely time. You take care. Hey everybody, it's JP again, and it's been 40 minutes now, so I think our chicken broth is ready, let's check it out. It's looking, oh yes, it's looking absolutely wonderful. So what we're going to do now, the so last bit, is take our fresh cream, and just put half a spoonful of cream, not double cream, not too much, so one, two, let's put three. There we go. Three spoons of double cream. Get a good stir. Oh, that looks absolutely gorgeous. Okay, now we're going to take our. Um, we've got our um, sweet corns in the oven, so they are ready. Okay, we take one of them. One, one per plate, obviously. And we're going to pour them on the side, just let's have a quick look, to be hot. So make sure you don't burn yourself as you open, oh yes, lovely. Okay, so you take your chicken broth, take your plate, your large plate, and you put your chicken broth inside, there we go, there we go, that's lovely, that's just one portion. And then you take your sweet corn and put it right on the top, like that. So that's your chicken broth and sweet corn ready to go. Okay, and that looks absolutely wonderful. I hope you enjoy it. So don't forget to uh, look on the website for other recipes from the week before, and you can cook anything you want. Just click on the weekly um, on the previous weeks. And I hope you enjoy yourself tonight and I shall see you tomorrow night for a new dinner with JP. You take care.